Hi, this is uh, Tutor Nick P, and this is Lesson 42. Uh, today we're going to look at the difference between over and overboard. Yeah, the, a lot of times uh, students might say something is over or goes over, and they stop there. Uh, when they really should be saying overboard, something is overboard, or something is too far, or something is too extreme. Uh, over by itself doesn't really mean too far. Over just means more than something else. So, uh, yeah, that's actually a big mistake. Is, uh, if, if a Westerner hears uh, a, a student of ESL say uh, something is too over, they're like, uh, over, over what? What? Uh, what is it over? Uh, you know, uh, so that's the way it goes. So let's take a look. Let's take a look first at the definition of over. Again, just like I said, over really means more than a particular amount quantity or age, or it can also mean above somebody or something. So it does not necessarily mean too much. It does not mean necessarily mean too excessive. It just means more than something. So uh, let's take a look at these examples. Uh, number one, you can say, uh, that will cost you over $100. Maybe that's a reasonable price. I don't know. Uh, but you're just saying that it's more than. You're not necessarily, again, not necessarily saying that it's overboard, that it's too far. Uh, she is over 50 years old. Again, meaning more than 50 years old. Uh, that bird flew over our house. All right, here the over simply goes back to this one. It just means above something. So that's why you just can't stop it over, because uh, you can actually even change the meaning that way. Okay, and, and uh, just to go, um, just to review here, because we might, like I say, students might say go over or be over when they uh, say that you know something goes overboard or something is overboard. So let's cover that. Uh, remember, if we say to go over, could mean to review or to examine something. Uh, it could mean to fall off something and then down. So if you just stop it over, it could have a very different meaning. Uh, so again, let's look at an example. I went over the material before the test. Yeah, you reviewed it, you checked it, you examined it. Okay. Um, that raft went over the waterfall. Again, it means that it you know, went and it fell off and fell down. So that's what we mean by to go over. So again, you have to be careful. You can't just say to go over when you really mean to go overboard. Meaning to be very different. Uh, all right, let's look at be over. Because sometimes students will use the verb to be with it to try to mean the same thing. Uh, to be over, you know, as a verb phrase, could mean, you know, to be finished or to, uh, to, to no longer be affected by something. So let's look at the example. We can say, that storm is finally over. That storm is finally finished. Um, the numbness from that shot is over. All right, here, you're not affected by the numbness anymore. Maybe you feel normal now. Okay, all right, so let's look at... Finally, we're up to probably the one that the student originally wanted to say. He wanted to say, go overboard. And remember, uh, it makes sense. You could kind of think of it in the sense of like almost being on a ship. If you go overboard, you go too far. That's too extreme. That's too much. So that's what we mean by going overboard. It really comes from the idea of like being on a boat. You traveled too far or you went too far, you fell in the water. So you went overboard. You went too far. All right, so let's look at to go overboard means to go too far or to do something too much. All right, and, and uh, again, let's, let's look at our uh, typical examples. I told her to put on makeup, but she really went overboard. Well, she put on too much makeup. Maybe she doesn't look good. Maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe she almost doesn't look like herself, or maybe she looks scary. Maybe she looks like a ghost. I don't know. Uh, but you put on too much makeup. It didn't look natural. It didn't end up being an improvement because you went too far. You went overboard. All right, let's take a look at the second uh, one. Uh, she really went overboard with the perfume. I could smell her from five feet away. Yeah, you know, uh, maybe some people don't realize that they put on too much. We sometimes might say, uh, you know, somebody put on a whole, she must have put on a whole bottle. Of perfume, or you could even say that a guy with a guy wearing cologne sometimes could do that. They really went too far. All right, uh, and uh, and here just to give you some other choices, uh, we could also use the phrases to go too far. Yeah, so that's the most common ones. To go overboard and to go too far is the most common. 
But as well as to go too far, you could say, you know, to be too extreme, something is too extreme. Uh, to be too excessive, uh, that could be another way uh, that to express the same idea that you, you did something too much. Okay. So, um, yeah, so to mean nearly the same is to go overboard, so we can use those phrases to go too far, to be too extreme, to be too excessive. And they can be quite similar to meaning to be to go overboard. Well, let's look at the first example here. I wouldn't do that. It is really going too far. Well, whatever you're doing, somebody feels like you're doing too much, or maybe you're even possibly offending somebody, or... Uh, you, you know, you're just doing something, you're just going where you shouldn't be going. You're going further than is necessary. All right, uh, let's look at the second one. You don't need to spend this much money on the party. You are going too far. All right, so you should spend less. Maybe it's starting to be excessive or too much. Uh, so you're going too far. All right, number three. Uh, his response was too extreme. Well, this is another way of saying too far or overboard. Um, and number four, we could say that punishment was too excessive for the crime. Yeah, maybe it's a judge gave a very serious punishment. Uh, we sometimes say to throw the book at somebody. Uh, I mean, you, you gave them a, a much harsher punishment than maybe that particular crime deserved. Okay, I, I hope it's clear. I hope most students realize now not to just to use, to go over or be over, when they should be using to go too far or to go overboard. Uh, that's what you should be using, go overboard, go too far. Again, you might have, um, if you want to play with it a little bit more, you could have the other choices of maybe sometimes to be too extreme or too excessive. Okay, I hope that uh, clears it up for you. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.